It would. Yeah, yes, it will do all kinds of cool things. So if you can swing it and it gets approved, then by all means apply for it. Yeah, because you know, pretty much I'll, I'll give you a little inside information. If you apply for it, I will accept you. <laughs> so. I appreciate that. Yeah, that would be like a good... Yeah. All right, let's continue talking talking about conditions conducive to convection. Yes. Yes. So another one is when we're in a partial ionization zone. When we're in a zone where the temperature is in the range where a species like hydrogen or helium is changing its ionization state. So in other words, sensitive. Ten, ten thousand Kelvin. Yeah. In other words, when we're in a place where the curve is doing that from the soft uh, okay. we're talking about here. Yeah. yeah. Where it's going from neutral to singly ionized or singly ionized to doubly ionized or whatever. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Those are the partial ionization zones. A bubble rising in there is going to be changing its ionization state. Mu won't be constant, and so things have to be modified in such a situation. Um, so the professionals will build that into their codes, and you know. Oh, uh, so you can account for that. Yeah, you can account for it if you are, you know, if you're going a really fancy code. Um, you can account for that sort of thing. Um, we're keeping things simpler than that. But we can qualitatively understand what's going on in a partial ionization zone. So let's remind ourselves T being around 10,000 K or H. 
then another line through it. And that's going to keep the bubble being more likely to stay hotter than its surroundings. Because remember, that's the condition. So the bubble is more likely to stay hotter than its surroundings. <laughs> 